War Diary Day 550 of Russia's war against Ukraine. Uh, gone to uh, an art gallery, bit of culture, and good thing too. So this wonderful piece of art behind me is a work of Maria Primachenko. She lived through the Holodomor. She lived through the Second World War. It scarred her deeply. I believe she lost her lover. Um, and then after a, a decade of not painting, she came back. Picasso was fascinated by her stuff. This picture here is of some sort of Ukrainian beastie grappling with the green snake. The green snake is alcohol. Um, so, but her stuff is really, really good. She lived quite close to Chernobyl when that blew up. She did a fantastic series of paintings about the uh, about the scourge of the uh, of radiation, about the scourge of corruption um, that followed the um, the nuclear catastrophe. A wonderful, wonderful artist. Now, um, the second um, exhibition is a woman called Polina Ryan, uh, Ryko. Now, Polina, um, she lived in the south near Hassan and when family tragedy hit her and hit her hard she took to painting and she painted her house beautifully and you know what happened when the Russians blew up the Novokhovka dam much of this work was ruined there are photographs and hopefully after the war we can fix this this kind this exhibition is a kind of metaphor for the for the destruction to art to culture to a whole ton of Ukrainian um, uh, paintings and churches that the Russians have carried out brutally and cruelly and crushingly and it's not working but uh, I'm grateful um, to my friends who dragged me here so I can see this stuff it's kind of beautiful that they still in the middle of the war they're cherishing art Vladimir Putin do fuck off